I got some dirty shit to pick up at the dry cleaner. I got a tiny bitch to pick up, I got less Selena. Shady hop up in the whip, but I ain't never seen it. Shady love the way I whip it in a two seater. Hey fam, thank you guys so much again for joining me for another Lethal's Vape Reviews. I'm Chris Lethal Coils, bringing you guys another hardware review today. And today the the uh, device we're going to be taking a look at is going to be the Hellbeast tank from Beyond Vape and Hell Vape. It is a, a hybrid tank, does both so sub ohming as well as MTLs, and uh, beautiful. So without further ado, before I talk too much about this, let's go ahead and take it down to the table. We'll go over it, show you uh, the parts of it, show you how it works, show you how to install your coil, and, um, and then we'll bring it back up top. We will have a quick vape on it. We'll talk some more and give you guys my final thoughts, my, my pros, my cons, uh, what I like, what I don't like, and would I go out and pick this up tomorrow. So let's head to the table. Here we have the Hellbeast box with the name Hybrid Tank Sub Ohm MTL down the bottom. I uh, don't know how well you can see that, but we've got the logo on top Beyond Vape Hell Vape, a collaboration project. Uh, on the top, we've got Hellbeast. On the side, we've got Beyond Vape. Let's work on this Zoom game real quick. There we go. We've got Beyond Vape, Hellbeast, Hell Vape. And on the bottom, what we've got is the Hellbeast name, social media links right there, as well as their uh, web addresses right there. So there we go. That's what we've got for the packaging on the front sides. We've got on the back, you guys can feel free to pause this at any moment if you choose. Uh, we've got all the features plus the contents. We'll go over all the contents and the features once we uh, really get into this. So why don't we go ahead and open the package, see what we've got. And there we go. There is the Hell Beast in all of its glory. There we go. Let's uh, zoom that down. Let's go ahead and pull that tank out if you can. Or... If you can, it's really jammed in there. All right, there we go. Whoop. No coil installed, so the bottom is coming off right now. We'll go over that in just a minute. Let's go over the packaging. Yes, there is a stain. That is from a little bit of e-juice. Sorry about that, guys. Um, here in the packaging, what we have is our whoop, whoop, Nautilus coil adapter here. We've got a mouth to lung drip tip, eight, uh, 510 with a uh, Delrin tip to it. We also have our bits and bobs bag. Not that one. Here we go. We've got our bits and bobs bag. We've got all sorts of O-rings. We've got screws to replace. We've also got a secondary glass tank all right i don't have replacement screws at the moment because there are no screws to replace but we've got all the general o-rings that we would need so that's that guys that's what's in that uh, little accessories packaging and we will go over both sub ohming and mouth along with this as well and in addition to all of that you get this nifty Hellbeast manual here, user manual, comes in a variety, as you can see, of different languages. We've got Russian, German, English. We've got Italian, Spanish, and French. Uh, and I think that's about it, but it's pretty big and broad. Uh, it just kind of goes over all of the things that you need to know about it, how to fill it, how to put it together, how to use it for mouth to lung, how to use it for sub ohming, all of the, the goody goodies. So that's in there as well. And that's all of the packaging. Let's go ahead and get right into the Hellbeast tank. There are three pieces to this tank. There's the bottom section, obviously, as you can tell. And then we've got the glass. Nice glass. 
nice glass. We've got an acrylic drip tip, two-tone, very nicely done. Love the gold on top of the red. I think that's really, really sharp. Uh, I don't think it goes well with the black, but hey, you know what? That is what it is. So here we've got the top piece of the tank, 810 drip tip. We do have that, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, that's an 810 uh, mouth to lung adapter, my apologies. But that's that, we've got slide top fill here, we've got the designation arrow as far as where you can find to push it, boop, like that. You got your fill port with a nice gasket, rubber gasket in here like that it's a nice stiff nice stiff locking uh top cap there you've got the hellbeast logo here let's see if i can't zoom this in just a little bit get this a little closer for you guys there we go you've got the hellbeast logo here you got your o-rings you got your chimney all right then you've got your glass uh as you guys saw earlier that is a four mil capacity with a sub ohm coil, which we will go ahead and show you in just a few minutes. Um. So yeah, we've got it four milliliters in sub ohm. You've got 4.3 liters with the smock baby beast sub ohm coils. And then you've got a 3.5 milliliter capacity with the uh, adapter here all right and the nautilus style coils it's very very nice very very clean threaded very clean threads got a little something on there a little bit of hair or something sorry about that guys but it's very nice in mouth to lung as well we'll go over that shortly when we come back up top uh, then you've got your bottom section, which holds your airflow adjustment. Dual cyclops on both sides, fully adjustable. Uh, locks into place here, will not let you push it any further. Then you can spin it the other direction, close that off, keep going. And what you've got are your mouth to lung holes here for your airflow. And you can just dial that right down, guys. It's fully adjustable. So yeah, you could even have just a single hole pulling through. I tend to have one or two holes open uh, when I use it for mouth to lung. Sometimes I'll go three, uh, depending. But you've got your, what looks to be gold-plated 510 pin surrounded by a peak insulator and clean 510 threads. On the bottom, we have, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, uh, we've got the Hellbeast name. There we go. A collaboration crea creation by Hellvape and Beyond Vape. We've got the Hellbeast logo, the do not throw in a bin. We've got the serial number here, and then we've got Hellvape and Beyond Vape. All right. So that's the bottom. That's the airflow. That's where you screw your coils into. And then you just put the tank together like so. There you go. You're ready to rock. So let me go ahead and uh, show you how to install this sub ohm coil. We're not going to juice it up, but we are going to install it real quick so here we go we've got the hellbeast h1 coil it comes with two of these through my uh time of experimenting with this tank i've used up both of the ones that came with it so i did have to purchase this one separately uh, but this is the one that comes with it it is the mesh h1 from hellvape 0.2 ohm coil uh 30 to 90 watts it says best between 60 to 80. Uh, again, that's all down to personal preference, but it's very simple, guys. Take your coil, screw it in. Now what you're going to do uh, first is you're going to prime that coil. So you're going to put a little bit of juice in each one of these little slots here just to kind of get it a little saturated. Uh, put some a little bit on the top as well. Only on the cotton, guys. Don't drip through the middle, please. You guys will get leaks and then you'll have issues and you'll think it's a problem with the tank, but it's, it's really not. Just don't get it down the middle. Get it on that cotton. Get it in the little slots on the sides. And then you can just take it, put it together, and then screw it on. Make sure that those threads are not cross-threading. And there we go. 
and there you've got your tank all set up for uh, sub ohming there you go and yes I am getting juice or not juice I mean fingerprints rather all over this glass that's all right though so now what we can do is take that coil right out because I'm going to show you how to do the mouth to lung now first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to screw that and it goes this way okay guys it goes with the short end into the bottom part of the deck again make sure you're not stripping those threads otherwise you're going to have a bad day so there's that and what we have here is actually one of the aspire bbc coils for the nautilus so we're going to go ahead and pull that out bottom side down all right and then you screw it in there we go like so finger tight don't need to go any more than that and then you can screw it right down and there you go you are ready to rock with some mouth to lung action on the helvies tank we are going to keep this coil in um same thing you got to prime it first guys so uh just keep that in mind fortunately enough i've got these little flow holes down the bottom that i can actually get my uh, juice into to prime this coil with um, and again with the mouth to lung I tend to use Nick salts so that's what it is let's go ahead and juice this up we're gonna prime the coil we're gonna bring it back up top have some vape on it and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts hope you enjoyed this but uh, without further ado let's take this back up to the top Right, guys, there we have it, the Hell Beast. There we go. Where is it? There we are, the Hell Beast MTL and sub ohming tank. Uh, I have it, as I said, rocking it in uh, sub ohm. Not sub ohm, my apologies. I'm rocking it mouth to lung. Why, you might ask, I'm rocking it mouth to lung over sub ohm. Well, to be honest, completely fair. I personally like it in mouth to lung better than I like it in sub ohming. That's my personal opinion. It's good in both. Don't get me wrong. It does well, well with both sub ohming and mouth to lung. Uh, it tastes great both ways. I don't know uh, exactly what it is that draws me to the mouth to lung side of it, but it really does. Um, I'm loving the uh, the airflow adjustment that I can make, uh, make, make, makes something, something like that. Uh, I like the uh, adjustable airflow that I can change up and adjust as I want um, for my mouth to lung as well as for my sub ohming. It's a great little idea, I think, personally. I like the uh, adjustable mouth to lung airflows as opposed to the um, standard like one or maybe two holes. Uh, I really um, do enjoy that. Uh, we've been letting that sit in there for a little bit now, and what we've got today is some tailored house. Hold on, we're not focusing. We have some tailored house snacker doodle in 25 milligram in Nick salt form, right? We got 30 milliliters, whatever. This ain't a juice review, but we've got that sitting in snacker doodle. It's a sni uh, snicker doodle cookie. Love it. It's, it's kind of like a cinnamon cookie ish. Um, sorry guys, focusing. I'm trying to get the hang of this. It's not working out so well, uh, but I'm trying. I'm doing my best. So yeah, let's give this thing a few toots and uh, we'll talk some more about it. Give you guys my pros, my cons. It's gorgeous. Uh, nice little device. I will be honest with you. I've had some time with it now, so um, I've gotten to know it pretty good. Uh, like I said, I already know I like it in mouth to lung. I do like it in sub ohming. Just I tend to use it more for mouth to lung, which is perfectly fine with me. You may not like that. Uh, you may never use it in mouth to lung for uh, any reason, but um, yeah, I do like it that way. You might prefer it in sub ohming. It's all a matter of preference, and this tank allows you both options, and it performs well in both configurations. 
So uh, I really do like it. If I had to come up with a con, it would probably be um, the slide uh, slide fill in the top. I don't really prefer that. I prefer a screw down. It's too easy for it to, um, you know, when it gets juiced up, it's too easy for the, the tank to just slide right open. Um, and you can get juice and make a mess everywhere if that happens, if it happens to tip over and uh, something knocks that, that cap over to the side, you're going to get juice everywhere. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of the slide, slide top fills. So that's my opinion. Um, <clears throat> another con. Hmm. Another con. I can't really think of one to be honest with you. Um, pros. I love how it's mouth along and sub ohming. I love the ability to swap between the two. I, I think that that's a great idea for uh, tanks to be made in a hybrid kind of situation. Uh, so it gives options. It gives options, and I'm a big fan of options. I like to be able to pick and choose what I want to use. And if I want to use that tank, uh, you know, I like the fact that I don't, I'm not restricted to one kind of coil. I'm not restricted to one kind of vape. I can do sub ohming or mouth to lung. So I really like that. Uh, the capacity is all right, especially mouth to lung. The 3.5 lasts me a while because, you know, Nick Salt, yeah, it's strong. You don't got to, you know, chief on it like I do with, you know, say my, uh, my rig mod with the Kennedy or um, other drippers and, and mech mods or regulated devices. I like that uh, it lasts a bit longer. So I like that. I really like the airflow adjustments. Uh, fully adjustable on the sub ohming really really nice options for mouth to lung adjustments on the airflow that's nice i like the gold plated 510 as well it's you know it, it's uh conductivity i suppose is is the way of uh gold plated 510s so that being said guys got a lot of pros for this not so many cons that's the Hellbeast tank uh, in its finest. And um, yeah, so. Yeah. I really like it. Really, really like it. Well, that's what I've got for this one, guys. You can find this on a variety of websites. I can't post any links. I can't put... Uh, really anything into the uh, description as far as where you can find these but you can find them on a variety of websites it's been out for a little while I'm sure you can find them almost anywhere at this point it's a great little hybrid tank I absolutely love it that's what I've got for you today guys big love thank you all so much for joining me it's been a great pleasure to bring you this uh, hardware review and guys, don't forget, if you're not subbed to me already, go ahead, please hit that subscribe button. If you did like the video, hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to tap that notification bell so you guys can get updated to whenever I upload new content. I love you all. Thank you so much for everything you guys do. And if you do want to show some love and support for the channel, I am 100% independent. So I really, really rely on uh, the support of viewers like yourself. And uh, so I will have links to both PayPal and Patreon. In addition to those, I will also have a link down below to my merch store on Teespring. Not a lot of options, but we have some options there. Uh, sweatshirts and t-shirts. Um, but we're going to work on getting some more stuff out and making some more designs. So with that, guys, I want to say big love to you all. Thank you so much again for joining me. This has been Lethal Coils with another Lethal's Vape Reviews. I look so forward to seeing you guys in the next one. So with that, guys, peace.